My name is Harris and I am a student at Bushy Heath Primary School and welcome to Bushy Heath News. So we're going to start off with Watford versus Arsenal. Now I think Arsenal now are just going to fight for top four. That's all they want. They don't want Europa League, don't want anything. All they want is top four. That's it. Man United need a new manager after a 4-1 defeat. I can't see them keeping Ralph Ranić as an interim manager. Like... He's not a good interim manager, and I don't even know. Can you even get a different interim manager? Because he's not good, and I don't see them getting top four. I could not see them getting top four. I think Arsenal deserve it more, and they'll take that. And Brentford win 3-1 over Norwich, which leaves Norwich still in the relegation zone at 20th now. They had they had good games. They beat Watford 3-0, and they got some results, but... Now they're just stuck at 20th again and I can't see them doing anything. And next was Aston Villa. Danny Ying's playing against his old club and he actually scored in the 54th minute. And Coutinho scores for Aston Villa at his new club, or well, um, not, well, not his parent club, his loan club, Aston Villa. And next was Burnley lose 4-0 away from home thanks to Havertz scoring and other Chelsea players scoring as well. So that's another 4-0 result. And there's Tottenham versus Everton today at 8 o'clock, if you're watching this on Monday, 7th of March. And then there's Newcastle versus Brighton, which already happened, which was 2-1. So that leaves Newcastle getting out of the relegation zone now. I'm going to go into the predictions now. We're going to go to um we're going to go to the next game so Wolves versus Watford. I think Watford look a bit strong. They lost 3-2 to Arsenal and I think they played all right like Cucho Hernandez with the bicycle kick which was incredible and I think Watford could get a result but Wolves are quite good as well. So I'm going to go for a 1-1, okay? Mainly because I'm a Watford fan, I'll do that, but yeah. And then next is Tottenham versus Everton. Now, I'm going to go with a 2-0 win for Tottenham. They've got home advantage, and I think they can just do it against Everton. So I'm going to go for 2-0. Leeds versus Aston Villa, I'm going to go for 2-0 to Aston Villa. Because Aston Villa, they've got quite a strong squad now. They've got like players like Coutinho, they've got players like Danny Ings that can really like threat the defence and then we've got Southampton versus Newcastle and I'm going to go with 1-0 to Newcastle because I think they look really strong now with their new takeover and they've bought some good players like Bruno Gomares and I think they can do really well so yeah that is it for this video and i'm going to stop now and this is harris signing off